How you going guys? Steve here. Just a bit of a different video. Uh, apart from RC tanks, my other passion or hobby is uh, I race go-karts. So uh, here's our trailer. Here's the beast that we pull it with. So this trailer is custom made from fine line trailers. They do a fantastic job. Beautiful trailer and uh, you can obviously get custom made designs or pretty much whatever you want. Two, two wheel axles, one, smaller, wider, taller, you name it. So this is our one. It's uh, I think it's rated at two ton, holds three carts. So I'll give you a little look around. This toolbox uh, doesn't come with the trailer, but uh, just from local hardware shop, bolted to the front for holding generator, fuel and all that kind of stuff. Just want to keep it away from the inside of the trailer. The trailer itself is about 2.2 high and internally is 1.9. Sorry about that light. So we've uh, built a kitchen inside here. Holds all the stuff that we need. Caravan push button handles. Keeps them nice and locked away during transit so it doesn't move around. As you can see, inside, plenty of headspace. Holds three carts. Put our LED lighting inside here. Ample amount of light, especially when you go out in the early mornings or start packing up during events that takes its, takes its toll in the evening. Camera, uh, the wires with the reversing camera. It's been custom wrapped by trailer wraps. Trailerapps.com.au. A beautiful job. Side opens like this. Plenty of room. Also got LED strip lighting here. All our tools and uh, gadgets and chain lube, wipes, fluids. Ten uh, essential toolbox. Hold for our sprockets, which always builds up. And uh, also got a nice drawer here inbuilt. Like that. Beautiful, beautifully done. Nice fit, like I said, all the way around. Nice seals. And here's the business end. So as you see, one fits in the bottom there, one in the middle, and also one up top. Tie rack. All your sorry tire rack for your tires and wheels and whatnot. All our switches there for the electric brakes, stereos, cameras, the compressor and transponders for charging the actual batteries and transponders. So you get two Arrow X3s completely stored away there. And uh, yeah, just a nice little quick video, something different. The back just closes. That's how it looks. So there you go. Quick video, guys. Hope you like it.